Yeah. So I'm going to go with Kentucky, who uh, was finally healthy. They had Ty Ty Washington, severe wheeler back, and they went on the road to Bud Walton Arena and, and took a loss in a game where they were down double digits early. And it looked like Arkansas was on the verge of running away with that thing. Uh, they put up a fight. They came back in the second half. They covered. And that was enough to be able to get them to climb from number three up to number two in Ken Palm. So how about that? They lost and they improved in the metrics. I know that's going to make Goodman uh, the happiest man on the planet. So uh, it was, I, I think. Goddamn Ken just, Palm. <laughs> Why don't we have him on here to explain himself? I think, I think we need to start here uh, by talking about the SEC because there are four teams that are definitively at the top of that league. They played each other back-to-back games, back-to-back windows. Uh, it was awesome. So, um, Goodman, I'm going right back to you on this one, man. What, what, give, me, give me your biggest takeaway from this Kentucky-Arkansas game. Is Arkansas now the team to beat in this league? They've won 13 of their last 14 games. No, there, there's no team to beat in this league. That's what this shows to me is, you know, as, as important it was for Arkansas, and it was, to beat Kentucky coming into town in, in a crazy environment. And, you know, listen, the, the, the bottom line is, J.D. Note has established himself as a National Player of the Year candidate. I've said it. I mean, he really has. You watch him today in the biggest game of the year for them, and you know they've reeled off 13 in the last 14 now. To me, beforehand, when you weren't winning, you can't be considered. But now that they're winning, you know they're probably on the fringe of, of a top 10, 12, 15 team. Uh, you have to put uh, him in the conversation. But – you know, the other thing is for Kentucky, listen, they just got Severe Wheeler and Todd Tide back. Okay, so let's not put too much stock into this loss. In fact, I was super impressed that you could go into Fayetteville and play until the end in, in again, a crazy environment with your two guards coming back after having missed the last week or two, uh, not practicing, not playing. I thought it was a great performance by Oscar Sheboy. You want to talk about 30 and 18, and it just seemed like two national player of the year candidates just going nuts. Yeah. J.D. Note, man, his ability to get off the dribble anywhere he wanted, what he end up with, 30? And he was fantastic, 30 points, eight assists. Like, wherever he, wherever he decided to attack, he could get to those spots. And it just showed the versatility, too. And a guy that, a guy that a, lot, a lot of people are talking about, uh, the Williams kid, the five-man for Arkansas. How Jaylen. impressive has he yeah. been? Yeah, Jalen Williams, man, like that he's guy. A beast. He's a, a beast. beast, and he can pull you out a little bit. Yep. He's got some face-up game to him, and that's the kind of guy you have to have when you go up against a guy like Sheboy. you got to try to find a way to space him out defensively. He had that, and he had a point in the second half, guys. I think he ended up scoring 12 points in a row whenever Arkansas was trying to make their big run in order to close out that game. Really impressive game all around. Bud Walton Arena, haven't been to that place. Need to get to that place. Woo pig soup. I mean, <laughs> yeah, big they, time atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. Arkansas has won uh, 13 of their last 14 games. And in that stretch, they've beaten Auburn mm-hmm. and Tennessee and now Kentucky in that building. Uh, Ryan, I want to go to you because we haven't gotten your take yet on the show uh, for this Kentucky team. How good do you think they are? Um, how does, does a, lo- a loss like this concern you at all in terms of what their ceiling can be? Can they win a national title? Can we all the takes? Yeah, I mean, I think Kentucky obviously can still win, you know, a title, obviously going into that arena. I mean, all road games in college basketball are tough, especially when you go in there and that those fans seem like they are out of their mind. They are passionate. And, I mean, yeah, just like, you know, T.O. just said about Williams, I mean, his last six games he's had a double-double in every game. And the face-up, I think, with, you know, with Sheway bothered him. You know, he's working so hard on the offensive de- – defensive glass. If he's got to go to the perimeter and try to stick a guy who can go by him from 14 feet like Williams was – you know, it's, it's hard for him to, you know, keep pace with that. So, I mean, overall, both teams are really good. I think they're both title contenders, honestly. I mean, defense from Arkansas never rests, it seems like, and Kentucky's got weapons everywhere. But Grady needs yeah, more want, than three shots, I think. I, I want to make one point really quick on Jalen Williams while, while we're on it. Since uh, during this run, um, I think our producer, Dagan Hughes, gave us a stat. Uh, Jalen Williams is averaging 14.5 points in, their, in, in the last 14 games when they're on this run. Uh, in the, at the start of the season, um, when Arkansas was struggling, he was averaging like four and a half points a game. Last year, right, Arkansas went on a similar run down the stretch of the season where they lost four out of five in, in January, and then they just caught fire. And I think they won – I think it was 15 out of 17 that they won before getting tripped up by Baylor in the Elite Eight. Uh, and when that happened, that was when Justin Smith got healthy, when they were able to go to that small lineup and become really difficult to guard. Goodman. So how much, how much do you think that has a factor, or is this just a – 
you know, must be and must in figuring this thing out? Well, I think the big thing is, is must going big. You know, I talked to him the other day about that. And he said, listen, I went, had to do something different because they weren't winning. They weren't winning early and, and they threw Trey Wade in there to be able to go big at every spot. And, and at a time and era in basketball where everybody wants to play small, he went bigger. And again, I think it helped because, you know, with Kentucky, again, you can give Shibway hits. What they did today, they made sure Kellen Grady didn't get off. Yep. He, he had three field goal attempts, right? He had three shots the entire game. They face guarded the hell out of him to make sure he couldn't get anything easy. So then really you take away him. Well, you don't, you knew Ty Ty was coming back after missing time. Who else do they have that can really make shots from the perimeter? Nobody, nobody. So it was a great game plan by Eric Musselman. And listen, everybody listening, everybody watching right now, you have to stick around for the afters tonight because we have a special, special guest that you are not going to want to miss. An Arkansas fan, a big, big Arkansas fan. And no, it is not Eric Musselman. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, it's going to be good. I think I know who that's going to end up being.